What's up, superheroes? Superman, Superman out of 100 here, and this is uh, just a little bonus video for today. Um, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are new here, uh, this is a uh, hack collection. If you look at the title of this video, it it says "Updated Hack Collection Number 02," and that's because I've done two other hack collection videos before this. This is the third one that I've done. Um, I did a hat. The first hat collection video was that I did was last year, uh, February first, twenty sixteen, and the other one that I did was uh, updated hat collection number one, which was on February fifteenth, twenty sixteen. I forgot. I forgot. Three. I totally forgot my cat's been hiding under my bed this whole time. I didn't even know he was in here. Let me just let him out. Yeah. So I'll put the links to the other two head collection videos I did in the past. I'll put them down in the description. But right here is 11 hats that we have to go through. These are all like flat bills and baseball type caps. So let's go ahead and uh, go over these. So the first hat is this um, green flat bill Mountain Dew hat. Um, it's got um, it's black. It's got the Mountain Dew logo shown in black. Have to be away. You can't really see it, but there it is. Got the Mountain Dew logo in black with the green bill. This is one of the many uh, hats that you'll see me wearing in my videos. Sometimes, mostly, you'll see me wearing it like this. Mostly because I, I feel like, I like, I like when it's, I like it better when it's backwards. This one's very tight when I put it on the normal setting. I normally put it on the two here, but it's normally very tight on number two, so probably, I only put this one on one. I have my TV on over here as well, so that's why I'm looking over. I'll have it on mute because it's on Disney Channel, and I don't, ha I don't need this video getting blocked in America on copyright grounds because of having Disney playing in the background. Because I've had that before, so yeah, that's why I have it on silent. So this one is this is another Mountain Dew hat. However, this time the bill is like black leather, and the inside is all green, and this is all green back here. And this time the Mountain Dew logo is the same color as it is on here. It's black. However, this one's like stitched into the hat. It has like the green overlay around it. So there's that. There's another one that I've been wearing in a lot of videos. This one I've wore in a countless number of videos. This is my uh, like this is my neon green. Superman hat. I like wearing this one a lot. I f it fits my head very well, so that's why I like wearing it so much. And the inside's all ye like yellow, and then the hat is yellow. It's actually like a neon green. It shows up as it shows up yellow on camera, but it's like a neon green. If you see it in real life, it's like a neon green, but it shows up yellow on camera. Like a, okay, it's like a neon yellow basically, but it's glow is very dark. Like you'll be able to see me in the dark. And this one, this one sort of just like sits on the racks and kind of collects dust because I don't really wear it. Cause it's got this like weird thing where it's hard to adjust. But this is a Adidas flat bill, and the bill has this like little gray design on it with like little dark grays and blacks and whites all over it, different colors and stuff. And this is one that my brother got from his job, and he gave it to me. However, the back ripped off. The little snappy part ripped off. 
but it's a Washington hat, and the bill is like a like light burgundy, and it says DC, and all around here it says DC, and inside is all red. And the biggest thing, if you look here, it says uh, Washington in big letters. That's good. And this is uh, one of the this is the one of the new ones that I got today. This is another Mountain Dew. Uh, this one has like a green bill, like with a green checkered bill, and it has like what the Mountain Dew logo looks like now, the green mountain, and then the red that says Dew. Over the, the back of this one is uh, is green, like light green, just like the leather one that you guys saw before. It's very tight. When it's on the two, so we put it on one. There we go. With the one, it's not as tight. Fits really well. Fits really well. Like, really good. This is my new Mountain Dew. And then this one is another new one I got today. Oh god, no. This is an Assassin's Creed hat. It has a black bill, and it's gray, and it has the Assassin's Creed logo on the front. And I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be mad at me for saying this, but I've actually, I've never, I've never played Assassin's Creed. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for saying that. I know there's gonna be a lot of Assassin's Creed com uh, fans in the comments being like, "What the heck, dude? You've never played Assassin's Creed?" And yeah, that's true. I've never played. I have never ever played Assassin's Creed. Let me know that in the comments. Like, should I play it? Is it is it worth is it worth to try? Let me know. Let me know down below. If it is, then maybe I'll try it. it looks like my Xbox hooked up again. And this is uh, another one of my many favorites. This is my PS2 baseball type. Uh, this part was actually white, but I took a can of like blue hairspray and sprayed that blue. So that's why it's all blue there. Uh, but this is like a, it's got like a little black fitted bill, yellow, and like I said before, this part was white, but I sprayed painted it blue. And it's, uh, it's, um, sponsoring the, uh, PSP, the PlayStation Portable. Um, as you can see, uh, there's, like, dirt all over it. And the reason why there's dirt all over it is because a lot of my hats sort of got ruined. Uh, when my stepdad painted my, um, after I got my room painted, um, a lot of my hats got ruined and I had, like, dust all over them and stuff. This one there's like stains all over this one. I don't, I don't, I don't use, I don't wear this hat as often as I used to, so it's not, I don't really care if it gets dirty or not. But um, I wore this hat uh, for one of one of my old um, one of my old uh, YouTube thumbnails. Was I think it was like this, and I was just like at the camera. Then there's this one, this like fitted red baseball cap. This is another one that I like have that just sits there, and I don't really wear it. But I, I honestly, now that I'm seeing how I look on how I look when I'm wearing it on camera. I should definitely start wearing it because it doesn't look that bad actually. I should, I should start wearing that one more. If you come near me, I'll chop off your fucking balls.
and uh, this one, this is as, this is like the oldest hat I own. I've had this hat for like freaking eight years already. I got this hat in like 2009 or 2008 or somewhere. But it's a it's a Friday the 13th hat. It's got the black bill with like the blood rolling down. It has the Friday the 13th logo. And if you notice, you'll see the Friday the is purple and then the 13th is blue. What actually happened was um. For one Halloween, I think it was 2014. Yeah, for Halloween of 2014, at the beginning of my sophomore year, um, I was Jason Voorhees for Halloween 2014. I wore my costume to school. The problem was it wasn't really a costume; it was only the mask. And you, I couldn't wear. You can't wear masks. You can wear your Halloween costume to school, but you can't wear masks. So I wasn't able to wear my friend, my Jason Voorhees mask. And then I was like, "Fuck! I I wanted to wear my costume to school today, you know. Well, what could I wear instead?" And then I remembered. Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. I was like, oh shit, look, I could wear my Friday the 13th hat. So I wore the hat around school for Halloween 2014 instead of my wearing the Jason Voorhees mask. You couldn't wear masks, like I just said before. And I had like a purple pen, and I just started coloring and tracing and coloring around this. That's why the Friday the. And I think the pen gave out after that, or like broke on me. So a while after, I had a blue pen, and I just colored the 13th in blue. I've had this half a long time. So like I said before, there's like a black fitted bill with the blood rolling down and it's got red all here with the Friday the 13th logo. And it blacks on the sides and you look at this part where you can adjust it to make it tighter or looser. And it says Jason on it. So I like that. And then there's this one that you guys just saw me put on before. This one's, this one's actually, this one's busted. You can see in the back, this one's messed up. But yeah. You know, one time, I messed with my bus aid. I was like, messing around with my bus aid, and I had it like this. And to me, it, it sort of, with the color red, it sort of makes it look like I have a gash in my face. So I was like, oh my god, my face is bleeding, and I was just holding it like this. And she looked at me, and I started laughing, she's like, that's not funny, no? Yeah, I could say right now, because, you know, I probably, sh I probably shouldn't say it. Now, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm going to say it. That bus aid that I was just talking about, that I pulled a little junk on, was, she was a total bitch. She was a bitch to me. For the entire year that I had her, as my bus aide. And she was sort of a bitch at the beginning. But she was way more of a bitch after I did the prank on her. Oh, now I... I fixed it, kind of. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. This hat is... I don't, I'm, I don't want to throw this one away. This, this one's falling apart. So, yeah. So rest in peace to this hat. Um, I've had this hat for a, for a few years actually. Um, I used to have two of these. I had this one and then I had a black one. But the black one got ripped away from me by a dog. I was afraid of a dog and the dog was sort of just sitting there one time when I was getting home from school. Uh, back when I lived in my old house. And the dog was just like sitting there. And I was, I was scared to walk because I was worried it was going to strike. And I'm with that because I'm terrified of dogs. So I was going to like run after me or try to attack me. So I threw the hat and the dog ran, grabbed the hat in its mouth and then ran back to whoever owned it. And so I never got, I never got that bad hat. I never got that hat back. So I just had this one for the longest time. And that one day I busted, but it wasn't too bad. So I just kept like wearing it around. But now it's ripped a little bit more, so. This hat is 
met its demise, and there it goes. The whole bill just came off. I mean, unless I can wear it like this. So this hat's dead, so rest in peace. Now I have only now I only have ten. And now this this video has actually ended up being longer than today's vlog. Uh, today's vlog was me trying to do another vlog in under one minute. And I didn't want to do a full vlog today because as I was saying in that, um, today marks the eighth anniversary of the day my grandfather was killed. Um, on April 29, 2009, he was crossing the street to go back home after getting a newspaper. He was crossing the Boulevard and bar. he was hit by a car. His body went flying across the street and he hit the ground and he died on impact. And, you know, we knew him for years. He was around for a very long time. So it was a very it was a very sad time for our family and it still is. I still think about him every single day. And I'm a Christian so I believe in Jesus and I know for a fact he's watching over me. So I didn't want to do a full vlog, but I I dedicated today's vlog in memory to the memory of my grandfather. I'm gonna dedicate this video also to the memory of my grandfather, William George Bill Voorhees. I love you, Grandpa. Continue to look over me. And thank you guys for watching. If you like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, then of course you do not have to. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Daily Vlog Day 152. This is just a little bonus video. I've always wanted to do another hat collection, and since I got two new hats today, I figured why not. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um... I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. What's up, Superhero? Superman out of my hydrant here. Uh, today is Tuesday, um, May 2nd, 2017. This is day 154. As you can see, I'm in the laundry room again. This is laundry room shenanigan 7. But before I start my little laundry situation, um, a little update on my sickness. I'm no longer too sick. I, uh, my throat's not sore anymore. Uh, my my nose isn't stuffy anymore. I'm not nasaled anymore. Uh, I'm normal now. However, <coughs> I still have the cough, as you can hear. The cough is still there, and it's only been a week, so I'm hoping, really, really hoping that it goes away soon. Now, really quickly, what you're going to, oh, man, damn, wow, my hands are wet from this shit. There we go, there you go. Now what you're going to see me doing for the next few minutes is I'm just taking piles of clothes and stuff and putting them onto this dryer so that I can just open up the dryer and throw the clothes in and be done with this whole laundry situation because I've had enough of it already. And this is my last, this is the last load that I'm going to be doing until Saturday.
So I have a break. Today's Tuesday. I have a break. I have a break for the next four days. From, I have a break from doing laundry for the next four days. Until uh, Saturday when I have to do the other load. Because another part of the clothes is already loading up. Yeah, um, we go through clothes like crazy in my my in my household at least. We go through clothes like madmen. This ice cream truck be loud as fuck. Who remembers being a kid and hearing this blare across the street and start booking to get to the school drives away? When I was a kid, well, I still am, but when I was young, Ah, uh, hold up. Yeah, this is definitely a laundry room shenanigans occurrence. What you're about to see is some real laundry room shenanigans. I gotta have to crawl to get that pair of socks. I'm good. Well, aside from that occurrence, all the clothes have been taken out of the washer. Now, we just start loading them into here, into the dryer. Well, they will be going for the next 99 minutes. I didn't really say this at the beginning. This is sort of a rare occurrence in the laundry room shenanigans vlogs. Normally, you guys will see me. When it comes to doing the laundry room shenanigans videos, normally I won't show you guys this. Normally you guys see me putting the clothes in the washer. And then that'll mostly be the end of the vlog. 
And then me putting the clothes in the dryer will mostly be the end of the laundry room shenanigans vlog. And then I'll go off and wait for the next 40 minutes because that's how long they go in the washer for. Then I come down here, get them out of the washer, put them into whatever dryer I'm going to put them into. And then I put it in for 99 minutes. But first, if I do this again, put it in here to see how much money I got. As you can see, we have 12.65. Here's the process when it comes to putting the clothes in the dryer. When it comes time to put the clothes in the dryer, what I do is I take the card. And normally, I never show this the way you put it in. There's a little arrow right there. And the arrow part is the part is the way you put it in. So you put it in arrow first. You put it in like that. And as you can see, it's in there now. And right now, the, vlog, the dryer is reminding me that I have 12.65 left on the card. And now I just put it in for 54 minutes. So now there's 10 minutes. Now there's ten dollars and eighty. They put it in for 54 minutes. Put it in again. Press the same cycle. Boom. Now there's 8.95 and they're in for 99 minutes. And that's it. So that is how I put the clothes in the dryer. Now I just wait for the next 99 minutes, which is about an hour and a half. I don't know, about an hour and a half or so, which means it's 5.11 right now, so maybe sometime but around six or seven. I'm gonna come down here, put the clothes, uh, I'm gonna come down here with the laundry bag and put the clothes in the dryer. I mean, I'll put the clothes in the bag and then bring them back straight to my house and my mom can fold them. And I can put my stuff away, and then she can put her stuff away. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, of course you don't have to. If you're wondering why I was, why I was just looking behind you, because I thought someone was coming. Um, I love you guys. And also, yesterday, I didn't make a video about it, but I posted in the description of yesterday's vlog. Yesterday, I noticed that the Superman Out of 100 channel has now surpassed over 1 million views. So I said it in the description. I'm going to say it here for the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for all the support you've given me over the last 60 years that I've had this channel. And also a big thank you for the continued support that you guys have given me on a daily basis with these daily vlogs. So click the like button if you're excited about the channel having 1 million views. And click like if you're enjoying the daily vlogs. Uh, the number of likes that gets, the number of likes I get on this vlog, the, uh, absolutely depends on how much you guys have been enjoying them and uh, your feedback really helps your feedback really helps because it lets me know that you guys are enjoying these vlogs that way I'm not just boring you with vlogs every day you know and also I've been doing I've been doing sort of like repeats of stuff in vlogs um, so in the comments down below uh, comments of stuff you guys would like to see me do in these daily vlogs because remember I'm still doing these vlogs for the next four years this year will be one year 2018 will be two years 2019 will be three years and then 2020 will be four years, so I'm still, I, I still got, I'm, I'm still doing these daily vlogs until 2020, so, uh, got a long ways to go, so comment, some, comment down below, what kind of stuff do you guys want to see me do in these vlogs, because once again, just like I said for the likes, your feedback matters to me the most.
comment down below if you want me to do more walking vlogs. Boom, I'll do more walking vlogs. If you want me to do some more laundry room shenanigans vlogs, boom, I'll do more laundry room shenanigans vlogs. If you guys want me to do more vlogs of like reading stories or just like stuff I find on the internet, boom, I'll start doing that more. And if you guys just want to see what I'm like, uh, sometimes, you know, I'll stow away from the vlogs a little bit. Sometimes I'll keep like forgetting I'm doing a video. And so sometimes you guys get a little bit of a glimpse of what I'm like when the camera's not on. So if you'd like to see more of that stuff, like what my life is like when I don't have the camera on, uh, let me know down in the comments below with that too. Uh, I know I'm kind of stowing away from the end of the vlog. But I just want to go away. And once again, thank you guys for a million views. And we're also coming up on uh, 1.3. 1.3 thousand. 1,300 subscribers very soon. So yeah, I love you guys. And I'm going out to the wind. To the outro. See you tomorrow.